What plan do you have for 2024 Ramadan? I just hope that you're planning something amazing for this year's Ramadan. Allahumma barik. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us witness this beautiful and blessing month of Ramadan. MashaAllah. Um, I did that for you to forgive me because I know that in the past few days I've not been posting any video. My students will be like, what type of teacher is he? I only hope that you will understand. MashaAllah, Isbir, Isbir, be patient. So today we're going to start a new topic called Atanween. Okay? The reason I've put letter N inside bracket is because this topic is all about N sound. Okay? Still, Tanween is like the previous lesson. It's about the three vowel letters we've learned before the A sound. I sound for, for Kasra and then we've got the U sound for Dham. But here, if you are following the lesson properly, you will realize that each of the harakats have been multiplied. Instead of Fatha, we've got there are two Fathas. Here are also two Kasras. The same thing with the Dhamma. There are, I mean, two Dhammas. That's because in Tanween, each of the three harakats are multiplied and the sound will be a bit different okay so in the previous lesson example we will say a e u but in ten win because it's all about n sound it has to be an in un okay so these are the ten win harakats fathatan not fatha anymore we are done with fatha fatha is only when the when there is a single line but when there are two, I mean, harakats or two lines, then you will pronounce it as fathatan. Okay, no more fatha. So this is fathatan. Fathatan means two fathas. Okay, and then kasratan, it means two kasras. And then we've got the last one, which is dhammatan, two dhammas. So now each of these three vowel letters, we must attach and sound to them. Okay, the alif, the a goes with n sound, the i here, n sound at the end, and then the u also, n sound at the end. What do I mean by that? It's because the tanween comes only on the last letter. Okay, that's the only time you can use the tanween. You can never find the tanween. Example, when we have a word, a tanween can never be at the beginning of a word or in the middle. The tanween comes at the end all the time, okay? But maybe if you wrote a single letter, there is no choice. Remember, it's just one single letter. Then you can put there tanween. But if it's a word, you can only find tanween at the end of the word. Example, <clears throat> let's say kitabun. Kitabun. Remember the tanween is about N sound meaning it has to end with n sound so here the letter having ten win is the bar why is the bar the bar is the last letter in this word okay let's choose another word let's say muslimun mashallah we are all muslim again the last letter is meme and it is the meme that is having ten win again okay now let's say um, I want to use the Fathatan. Alima. Okay. Alima. The last letter having, or the last letter here is the meme. And the meme is the letter having 10 wins. Someone might be confused. Why not the alif here? Remember, the alif here is not a letter. Whenever a letter is having fathatan, we must attach alif maddi to it. Okay? So this alif maddi also is having another ruling. We're going to learn that, inshallah, in the future. I don't want to confuse you. Just um, remember that tanween is about making n sound at the end of, you know, the words or any letter having tanween you just have to make n sound at the end when pronouncing that letter okay so that's the 
simplest way of understanding what tanween is. So now let's read um, the three harakats of tanween. The first one is fathatan. Good. The second one said after me kasratan. And then the last one dhammatan. Good. So that's dhammatan again. Dhammatan. Okay. So if you've got the book Allahumma barik. I will just give you the pattern, follow the same pattern, the same plan, and then inshallah you will be reading everything, everything perfectly by yourself without me even helping you. Okay, let's use Alif as our example. Or maybe we can add Ba. Yeah, Alif and Ba, that's fine. So remember, I've said that whenever a letter is having fathatan, we must attach alif madi to this letter, okay? So this alif has another ruling. Inshallah, we will get to that. So for now, just say alif fathatan an. So meaning alif fathatan, the pronunciation will be an. The second one, alif kasratan in. Can you hear the end sound? Remember, Tanwin is about that. And the last one, Alif, Dhammatan, Un. An, In, Un. Before it was A, E, U, now An, In, Un. Let's move on to letter Ba. Ba, Fathatan, Ban. Ba, Kasratan, Bin. And then we've got Ba, Dhammatan, Bun, ban, bin, bun. Same thing with ta, tha, jim, up to hamza. Okay, so follow the same pattern and make sure you make n sound at the end. Tan, tin, tun, than, thin, thun, jan, jin, jun, up to an, in, un, which is the hamza. So inshallah, today we're gonna end the lesson here. Remember, um, it's about tanween. And when we talk about tanween, we're talking about the three harakats on the tanween. Okay, this is the three, I mean the tree, and we've got the branches here. Fathatan, Kasratan, and then Bommatan. What is Fathatan? It means two Fathas. What is Kasratan? Two Kasras. And what is Bommatan? Two Bommas. What is tanween all about? It's about making N sound at the end of the letter having tanween. Example, Alif here is having Fathatan, we will say An, Kasratan, In, and then Dhammatan, Un. So this is the um, whole information about Tanween. And then um, in our next lesson, we will start from Alif Fathatan up to Hamzatan, bi idhnillah tabaraka wa ta'ala. See you all in our next, le um, next lesson, inshallah. So if you don't have the book, just email me. And then I will um, send you the PDF. If you are new here as well, please go to my YouTube channel. You will find there all the previous lessons so that you can understand what exactly is going on here. Else you will be like, people will be laughing and you will laugh with them without knowing what's going on. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Anyways, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.